Sanofac has also been busy at home, transforming its gas stations into self-service outlets for the last six years. And now they're looking for more money and capital to finish it. Zhang Zhu has more. This gas station in Hongkou District is one of the 154 outlets Sinopec has turned into a self-service station since 2008. Some customers say they are now used to filling their vehicles by themselves and no longer need help from station staff. I think self-service is much faster than following the queue to do the same thing. One local Sinopec manager says self-service stations are more popular overseas than in China but it costs more to set up. Self-service accounts for up to 80% of stations in some Western countries. So we will build more here, even though the cost of reconstructing a traditional gas station is 900,000 yuan. Late last month, Sinopec proposed selling up to 30% of its multi-billion dollar marketing arm to private investors. Currently, that arm operates more than 30,000 gas stations nationwide, including 586 in Shanghai. But it's not clear whether Sinopec would set up a joint venture or just absorb the money to establish a partnership. Sinopec's local office wouldn't talk about its plans to bring in private investment or how its business will change. But one industry researcher has a few thoughts on what might happen. I think after the opening to the social and private sectors, there will be a net cash inflow for Sinopec. As I calculate, maybe 50 billion yuan for Sinopec. So definitely there will be more gas stations in China. But law says private investors have to pay attention to the location for any gas station they put money into. If you, you, if you find an investment project uh, of a gas station cl very close to the highways, then I think probably you, you can make a lot of money from that investment. The country's other major gas company, PetroChina, said today it is also looking to bring in some private investment. Zhang Chui, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.